Hello everyone, Ronnie J here from internetradiostation.com and this video is going to teach you how to back up your SAM broadcaster. Very important. First of all, whenever you make a lot of changes to your SAM broadcaster, uh, no matter what it is, you want to come up here to File and do a Save Configuration. That basically saves any changes you make within the configuration settings here. Station details, statistic relays, auto mixer pipeline, cross fading settings, gap killer settings, playlist rotation rules, request policy, your general settings, HTML output, and also your registration key. So again, make sure you do that file, save configuration anytime you make changes within your SAM broadcaster. Whenever you make changes to your desktops, for example, if you move things around, move your windows around within your desktops A, B, and C. Like I said in a previous video, you want to go up here to layout and do a save as default. Also, whenever you add a lot of songs to your SAM broadcaster, you add uh, things here for your PAL scripts within your different categories, you always want to back up your database. And the way you do that is to come over to Tools, come down to Backup, and do Backup. Then click OK and save to the location that's specified here. It's even telling you that your database is backed up to, and this is the path, and this is the date. I usually do a backup to my database whenever I add 10 songs. That's just me. It might also be a, a pretty good practice is to back up your SAM broadcaster at least once a week. You may do it often than that or even once every two weeks, but at least you should have some type of a schedule where you're consistent. Uh, I do mine once per week and I don't keep no more than three or four backups saved. Now how about backing up your entire SAM broadcaster installation? Well, that's something that I do also, and let me show you how to do that. When you install SAM Broadcaster, SAM Broadcaster is installed into two locations. Uh, one location it's installed into is called the Program Files section, and the other section is called the App Data section. In fact, if you come up to Tools and you select Jump To, you'll see something here called the Program Path and something called the Data Path. This is where, these are the two locations where SAM is installed. In fact, when SAM Broadcaster is installed, it sort of divides the installation up into two locations. It places all your program related files into the, the program files folder and it installs your data, that's your database, into what's called an app data. So if you click on, for example, program path, notice where it takes us. In my case, my C drive, program files, spatial audio, and SAM BC. And within the SAM BC or SAM Broadcaster directory, these are all of my SAM Broadcaster files that were placed here when I installed it. So what I recommend that you do is that you go to your program files and then go down to Spatial Audio and find this directory, do a right click on it, copy it, and save it to an external hard drive. Do not save it to the same hard drive as the installation. You want to back that up onto an external source. That way if your computer should crash and you lose your SAM Broadcaster installation then all you have to do is simply reinstall SAM Broadcaster and copy and paste this back into that spatial audio directory. Now that's the one location. The other location is the app data and to get there you go to tools, jump to data path. And notice up here, the data path. It's going to be installed in your user profile. In other words, if you logged in as, say, R. Harris, you'll find within your directory of R. Harris, app data. Within app data, there's a folder called local. Within the local folder, there's a folder called spatial audio. And within spatial audio, there's a directory called SAM Broadcaster. And let me do it this way here. Let me show you the medium or large icons here. So what you want to do is you want to also back up this directory to an external source or an external hard drive. So I recommend you go to Spatial Audio under, again, App Data and Local. Copy this, right click, copy, and save that to an external hard drive. Now what you've done, you've backed up your installation. You've backed up your program files, SAM Broadcaster, and you've backed up your data path. SAM Broadcaster installation. And within the data path, this is where you'll find your database. If you were to double click on this backup folder here, you'll see the backups. So whenever you went to 
up here to tools and you did backup right here you backed up your database what you did was you placed it inside of this directory here within the app data local spatial audio SAM broadcast or SAM BC backup directory inside this directory here and let's say for example that uh, your hard drive did not crash but your database somehow became corrupted well if you back up your database at least once a week all you have to do let me close this out is come up to tools select backup and then do a restore and then when you click yes you'll navigate to a location where you backed up your database and that would be to this folder right here and you'll select your latest database with the latest data on it you select it and then do a restore and your database is restored the last thing that you can do as far as backing up your SAM broadcaster is down here under your category section here let's say you spent a lot of time creating all these different categories within your SAM broadcaster and if you watched my previous video I created a category called uh, station ID I also created a category called smooth jazz under the music category and my station IDs and my voiceovers and top of the hours under the station ID category well you can also back these up let me show you how you do that what you want to do is you want to click on each of these categories in other words you want to select one then come down here where you see this little disk icon and pull this down and select save as m3u what I do is I use a create a, a folder on my desktop and I'll call it category backup and within that directory I'll give this m3u name the exact same name as that category so I'm gonna call this smooth jazz then click save then find the next one now I didn't create anything under sound effects but I did create one here under station IDs called voiceovers in fact I have several under the station ID categories I have voiceovers top of the hour station ID and intro voiceovers yes I have those four so what I'll do here is I'll select it go to the disk icon save as m3u and give this the exact same name and I'll call that voiceovers very important that you give the same name and click save and do the next one top of the hour select it and notice what I have down here these are all my top of the hour station IDs so I'll select it then select the disk icon save as m3u and give it the exact same name top of the hour click on the next one save as m3u and we'll call this station ID all right, now let me show you how this works. Let's say that uh, I have a crash and I have to reinstall SAM Broadcaster. I've backed up my database, so it would be a very easy matter for me to do a tools, back up and restore my database. Not a problem there. But I don't want to recreate these, so I've backed those up also. So let's say that um, this is gone. And notice that I have two in here. So let's say that's gone, so I'm going to delete that. Top of the hour, that's gone, so I'm going to delete that and station ID. I'm going to delete that. So get, let's say that I've lost all that and I'm having to reinstall SAM Broadcaster. This is how you will restore it. Let me show you. You come up to the station ID category, right click new, and we'll give this a name. We'll call this one voiceovers. I just want to restore everything. And notice that there's nothing in there because we're assuming that my SAM Broadcaster crashed. So there's nothing down here. So I'm going to re-import my voiceovers. To do that, I'll select the category, right click, add, playlist, then navigate to the location of that directory that I just created and find voiceovers. There it is. I'll select it and click open. Boom. They're back. Let me re-import my station IDs. So I'll come up here and do a new and I'll call this one station ID. Right click, add, playlist and station ID select it open they're back I also had a top of the hour so I'll come up here and do a right click new top of the hour right click add playlist and select the top of the hour and they're all back so that's what you would need to do as far as backing up and re-importing your categories 
So follow those steps and uh, it'll save you a lot of time should your computer crash and you lose your SAM broadcaster installation. Hope this helps you. This is Ronnie J from Internet Radio Station. Thank you for listening.